can't get there from here. A phrase people in central and southern Vermont have been hearing all day. You can see this river behind me on 103 is moving fast and that that bridge is about to wash out, making Ludlow even more isolated. I <laughs> can't get anywhere. Trying to get from his home in Perkinsville to Ludlow from the east, Stephen Melanson ran into road after road closed, including 131. He says the isolated communities bring back memories of tropical storm Irene. Drove through here in the evening of 2011, and I remember seeing this. But Cavendish Assistant Fire Chief Abraham Gross says he doesn't expect it to be that bad, calling Irene a lesson in preparation. All the work that went on to replace culverts and upsize culverts and do some, some repair work uh, after Irene, all that is paying off. But roads in central and southern Vermont are still being flooded and washed out as the rain continues. Here at the intersection of Fremont Hill Road and 103 is where Ludlow gets cut off from the south. The water here is high enough to swallow cars and is beating the first story windows on houses and businesses here behind me. Clearly an unsafe situation for many. Ludlow resident Kendra Rickerby says she doesn't expect to be going anywhere for a few days, but says everyone is stepping up to help those who need it. Right now it's pretty ferocious and um, Kind of a shocker. I got to admit, went to bed last night not realizing it would be this bad. Evacuations are also taking place in low lying areas, especially close to major rivers. Gross says if you are somewhere safe, stay there. Be, you're going to spend a lot of time on detours and, and reroutes and have to get turned around. It's um, stay home if you can. To repeat what first responders have been saying all day, respect the road close signs because things can deteriorate quickly. In Cavendish, Rachel Mann, Channel 3 News.